This is Severe MMA, and we're alongside John, the one McGuire. Get it right. Got it right, thank God. I'm with John McGuire. Look, it's been a while since we've caught up, and you're now becoming incredibly busy. On top of the UK MMAF trials that you ran today, you've got a big fight coming up on BC MMA in May. Talk us about it. Well, yeah, I've got, I've got a fight coming up. Uh, didn't get a, I'm trying to get the uh, opponents I want, but struggling getting some of these opponents. Like I said, where are these welterweights at? Who, who we got now? We got, uh, is it Matt Inman? Matt Inman, Lou Long, Lou Peter Long, Queeley, Peter Queeley. Colin Look, Fletcher, but that's... Co Colin Fletcher's in the bag for June. So I'm trying to get to fight these guys, and uh, I know they want to fight me. Well, most of them do anyway, but I think they're, they're the fights to make, especially if they want to be top welterweights. I'm a lightweight going back up to welterweight. Come on, come get me, guys. See, that's my question. You know, you, you, you've said off camera how comfortable you feel at welterweight, and, and, and it's not out of lazy. Now, you can cut the weight. We yeah. know you've made weight. What is it about standing around your natural weight that, that, that feels better? I just feel better. I'm not dehydrated. And I, and I made my mark as a welterweight, didn't I? Even when I first got the UFC, my first two wins were welterweight. And uh, I made my mark as a welterweight. I always felt better, fitness wise. Me fitting in shape as people, I'm 81 kilo, so I'm not a big welterweight, but it's an easy cut and I'm fitting in shape. Never had abs, but never never did. Even at lightweight, I never had abs. <laughs> and, and do, does it make it easier to enjoy the training as well? Is it, is, it, is it more about peace of mind up here and not stressing about things that you can't help? Yeah, yeah, it's just, it just it makes it more enjoyable. At this time in my career now, I'm enjoying the ride. I, I had 18 months off, no fights, and I just uh, refocused, enjoying coaching like the UK team and training myself. I'm enjoying being in there and being there and now competing. That's why I'm trying to get regular. Like, I've got a busy. I only fought was it three weeks ago? One tough guy fighting the 7th of May. It's a tough guy on paper already. I've got unless it changes we might get one of them names I mentioned <laughs> and then eight weeks after that it's Colin Fletcher and then in Vegas for the Worlds so busy busy few months what is it you know you took that 18 months what did you do what did you, what did you need it to recharge the batter what did you do so uh, just felt sorry for myself for a bit after coming off uh, some bad performance. Like, I got, I got beat. I'll never make an excuse. I got beat, but I think that people who know what my fighting style know uh, I wasn't fighting the way I should, and I was fighting for the sake of it. And so I went and reflected, time off, got fat as I do, played a lot of video games, played with myself, yeah. <laughs> and all that sort of thing. And uh, just to refocus and watch what was going on around. Then I see all these bums come through, doing this and then getting here and getting. Out. I think, my God, these guys suck, and I can whoop every one of them especially me on form and uh, I'm just enjoying it I'm there and like last fight proved that I think out of my last 10 fights the last fight even though the guy was he was an okay record but he's had uh, some good fights and wins I thought it was a pretty good performance for me I felt dominated the guy and uh, I felt pretty good first time in a long time I felt really good in May, are we going to get a performance like that? Is is you know, are we, are we back to sort of the John Maguire of old? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I like I'm older. <laughs> you can I'm, tell. I mean, I can tell. Yeah, getting again older. Not that I'm the big thirty next year. Shut up. Next year, that's the a big hard thirty years. Yeah, that's, that's right. Gypsy, but gypsy <laughs> man, and I'm a gypsy man. You think I'm? I've worked since I was thirteen. Mm -hmm. to, I, I got taken out of school, and I've had better, been working all my life. So uh, it's been rough. I feel rough, <laughs> and I've been in some wars. I'm, I'm coming up now to my. 30th profile yeah. maybe something like that so I've been around the block but yeah I'm enjoying it and uh, yeah you can expect the old I, I expect the finish what's the, what's the end game in this part of your career now because you've done the big show you made it to the big dance I know you didn't sometimes perform it you like but you got there a lot of them don't what do you see, what's the goal for, for for your fighting career now I don't know people, yeah, people keep saying oh would you go if you keep winning win would you go back to the UFC I'm not don't really bother been there and done it and I only got the first time I got to the UFC people said I couldn't do it that's why I did it and uh, you probably know some of them people said to me never get there and I got there proved them wrong uh, but we'll just see I'm just enjoying it I actually enjoy it and like it was good fighting back in England first like three years having a fight back in England which was was good for me I enjoyed it and now we got three we potentially have three in the space of almost 14 weeks yeah that's the plan I want to like and if you know it's back in the day I was always active on cage raids about UCMMA it's every three months or every two months I was trying to fight and get the best guys and the same thing now I'm trying to get the best guys and uh but I, I understand people don't want to fight or protect the records or just being pussies but it's don't uh, want to drop any names there no, 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 no. They know who they are. They know who they are. I understand that. And there's some real. And there's, I mean, I know some guys who are out there who 
will, will fight who's good. And uh, a couple of fights from UFC, so they maybe don't want to, they don't want to risk it, because then a fight me is going to be risk. You're not, I'm not going to roll over for years. So, uh, but I'm here to win and have a good time while I'm doing it. I, I, I hate to phrase it this way, but are you going to, it's almost like you, you could be, this is the term that got me in trouble. The gatekey, it's almost like if they can't get through John McGuire, you ain't going anywhere else. No. Is, are you happy? Is that a is that a position you'd happen to be in? You're the you, right I don't now. know. I've got a 21 and 8 record. I don't know if I'm called a gatekeeper still yet. No, no, yeah. that's a gatekeeper. But, but the thing is, who's a lightweight? I lost, but well, away you think who beat me? Well, away in England, except John Affway in UFC. Yeah. But I'm trying to think who beat me at well away in England. Nobody. No, not exactly. One. Not one. Even the big, but who the guys who were coming through it at that yeah. time, and same this time who. Prove me wrong. I'm happy to take fight. But I'm just trying. Yeah, no, yeah, no one. Matt Riddle, well away, but was American. Yeah. Half away is the only. But it was in UFC. Yeah. Simeon Fortin back yeah. in the day, and I destroy Simeon Fortin now, and he knows it. Uh, that's it, I think, who else? That's it, well, wait. And when we look at the welterweight scene in the UK now, you know, with Cage Warriors coming coming back, they're potentially coming back without a champion. You know, you, we, look at, we look at Bama, you, you know, the, the guys on the list have got to be your Lou Longs, your, your Matt Inmans, your Colin Fletchers, your Peter Queelys. Does it matter what promotion? I know that you're not. Don't you? they, they know. I, they, they know where they are. Some of these promotions, like I said, they know where I'm at. I'm easy going. I'm not a greedy guy. I, I don't. I, I to keep it I don't need to fight for money. I don't need you. I don't need their money. I got. I got enough of my own. <laughs> I don't need that. It's not for about never been money uh, about money or anything. But some of these get don't promote, not even put Bama for once. Them fuckers not even come to me. Not even offer the fight. So what? And I've never said anything about them. Cage Wars. I had a thing with them and there, uh, but they haven't approached me yet. But I'm happy to fight anyway. So no doors are closed. No, no. I'll fight wherever. As I was supposed to fight. Superior challenge in a few weeks, but my opponent, because he's he pulled out the day after I won on Jack Show, and it was Diego Gonzalez. Yeah. Now that's just pussy, pussy move. Pulling out in the night after my fight. Come on, come on, Diego. Last question, and I, and we'll let you go. This, this, you, where where's John McGuire gonna be within sort of MMA in 18 months' time? And I know you don't like looking that far ahead, but you know if you go on a run. Those questions that you don't want to, I've already been there, they're going to raise themselves again. Where do you see yourself in 18 months? I see myself uh, not losing for a long time. And when I set my I just, I just keep winning. And again, I've never been shy to fight. I just want to keep winning and enjoying it. I actually am enjoying it. The last fight, even like everyone was saying to me, I didn't look like I was in it, even fighting. It's just like because I was so relaxed and I just enjoyed it. Even though the big guy was trying to knock my head off. But I was just enjoying it and I was like, yeah. And I said, I won't roll over. I don't, if you look at me right, I don't get stopped. I lose boring ass decisions normally. But I'm, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm looking forward to it. What message you got for the, you know, the top five UK welterweight? Well, who we got who's unsigned? Who we got? Off the top of it, who, 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 who we got? The ones unsigned, they think we Realistic. Can... Lou's long, great guy. Again, the event, I think probably me and Lou's will meet down the road. Or less, but Lou's, in my opinion, should be in UFC. Good for Wales, and I said again, yeah. great. He should be in the UFC, no doubt. Out of everyone else, he should be in the UFC. That would be the best scout to take then, surely. Well, yeah, that's it. yeah. If it comes up, then yeah, we'll go. I lose, and he fought my brother, so his history there for him yep. and me. We met him in. Yep. What's he? Seventeen and seven. Seventeen and seven on a five or six fight win streak. Well, there you go. Yep. That's a good fight, yeah. Uh, Peter Queeley on, you know, everyone talking out of SBG Island saying he's going, he's the UFC next pick. And I think I'm still 1-0 one, one and o against SBG, right, Island? I think so. Except Sol Rogers on the dodgy yeah. decision, but that's not SGB Island, is no, it? No, that's SBG Manchester. Yeah, well, again, uh, what do you call him? The, the guy I beat on Cage Warriors. Which one? Set at 75 kilo. I Go on, shout it out. The one that fought Turk was supposed to fight in 10. I beat, that's who I'm one up against, I'm one up against him. He beat me the first round, I won the sec next two. Oh. I can't remember. Mo Peter. Mo that's Peter, right. there you it's go. Honey Badger, I Honey forgot Badger. all yeah. that. I beat him all people, didn't I? Yeah. He, he, he beat me up for a round, and then I took over in the second, and destroyed him in the third. So I'm one up against SGB, <laughs> and they're all great guys. I'm, uh, tr yeah. I'm one up, so if this Peter or whoever he is, know where I'm at. And look, they're looking at me, there has been the vet. As Conor McGregor once put when I was fighting Mo Peter, he's washed up and done. Me, well, uh, here I am.
Connor's Connor's fighting at 170 now. I hear. Well, the same. Well, yeah. Listen, Connor. <laughs> everyone knows. I'm not like Connor's done things. Took the sport to new level, which is great. Not a lover on Connor, but he's good for the sport. And I like the shit talk. I was a Chell Sonnen man, yeah. so I love Chell, but it's good for sport. But uh, just get all the ass kisses, nut huggers, and there's a few of them around. And uh, But I knew Diaz had beat him. The, I think they overlooked Diaz, and I think a rematch is a bad mistake. Put it this way, I had a stack of cash about that much winning from, uh, you know, they talk yeah, about yeah. money. My stack was about that high from Diaz winning by sub in the seconds. So, uh, but yeah, quite happy to fight anyone in them. John, it's always a pleasure catching up with you, and we look forward to seeing yeah. you fight again. But you keep the streak going, and those those big those big promotion questions are always going to be. Yeah, out. listen, all I want to do is have fun, enjoy. I'm enjoying the sport, kicking ass, eating donuts, as I've always been. Back to the old gym, about having a good time, play games, maybe sleep with a few women, as it should be. That's Thank you so much. Dude.